tri-war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. That could have to me. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says the Sifu decides who the Sifu wants to see, but is willing to let you give it a try. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. He didn't expect that of you. You were born bad so you could do good in this world. That weak mind of yours has made you soft. He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, you'll be seen as a rival.
He recognizes you sometimes need to challenge your mindset to make up your mind. You're a Jagni ally now. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. The Myriad are too good to be true. They might believe in the greater good and a code of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. Being defeated is a choice they won't make. They've talked about that, but words do not frighten those who feel no fear. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. Your Muma taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting, nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first right. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. They've already got word of an intruder, so he guesses the Sifu must be very interested in meeting you. You have orders to follow. It's time for you to revisit the past.
Let's see. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurled. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. 
He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. You need to rely on those who somehow know how to teach. Those willing to bend down and help you pick up your boots. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. He knows that's not true. You've just made up your mind you're not. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He's learned that things are never as bad as they seem. You'll feel better in the morning. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. Sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. 